telling you, I want you to calm down. No. Not until I find out what's going on. Now, I know you guys were keeping something from me. Miguel finally told me what it was. What, what did Miguel tell you? He told me that you and I couldn't be engaged because you're engaged to someone else. Antonio, me, please, don't upset yourself. No, I just want to know what it is, Mama. Who are you engaged to? Yes, Sheridan was engaged. But it was before she lost her memory. It was before she thought she was Diana and before she ever met you. She met someone, they fell in love, and they were going to be married. Well, does this someone have a name? Come on, Louise, who is it? What's happening, Eve? Blood pressure is skyrocketing. So is his heart rate. Your head's hurting, isn't it? You can feel the pressure? No, I'm fine. You're going to be all right now. Just let me tell him. Are you sure? It needs to come from me. You okay, buddy? I just want this to be over with. Okay, is thing going away? Yeah. yeah I just want Please you to... don't. You don't need to talk. Please, Sheridan, I just want you to tell me. What's his name? I met this man long before I knew you. He changed my life. He was so different from any other man I'd ever met. Different how? He wasn't after me for my money. I had a clean name. His only interest was me. It wasn't love at first sight. I just quite the opposite. But there was something there. A spark. A hint of the deep attraction that would draw us together. And that's exactly what happened. We were drawn to each other. Oh, what is it, Eve? This pressure's going up again. So is his heart rate. Just go on, Sheridan. Oh, I... I was so in love with this man, and, and we were so committed to each other that we planned on getting married and spending the rest of our lives together. Go on. No, don't. I'm yes. telling you. I want to know now. For the well-being of my patient, I'm going to ask you not to continue this. No. You can have this discussion later, Antonio. No, I want to know now. No matter what the consequences, because you're at serious risk here. Whatever the consequences, just tell me. Mijo, listen to Eve. No, Grimm, we can talk about this later. No, now. Sheridan, I want to know the truth. I want you to tell me who you're engaged to. The man's name is... The man's name is Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc. Yes. Jean-Luc is the name of the man you're engaged to. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. I don't know why I should be surprised that you were engaged before you met me. You're such a wonderful, beautiful woman. Of course you're going to have a man in your life. So tell me about this Jean-Luc. No. Well, for starters, where is he? Does he know you're back? No, he's. Uh... Shouldn't you tell him? I can't. He's gone. 
He's gone. He's no longer alive. Then the man you had memories of, the great love of your life, he's the one who died. BP is dropping. Says his heart rate. I'm so relieved. Jean Luc is gone. He was the man that you're engaged to. Jean-Luc was my fiancé, but now he's gone. I'm, I'm sorry he's dead. It's just for a moment there, I thought I'd lost you. Jean-Luc is gone, and what about the love that you feel for the man that you're going to marry? Is that gone, too? together and he's gone. I still love him. It's understandable. It's just that I'm just so glad that things are going to be the way that they were. That, that we're going to get married and you know Sheridan I just love you so much and I just don't want to lose you. I just want things to be like they were, and I'm glad they're going to be. I'm glad that we're going to spend our lives together and that we're going to get married. Looks like I just lost the woman I love. <laughs> <laughs>